Oh, man. Oh. What the heck is that sound? Did you hear that? Shh. It's settling. That noise there. Did you hear that? I think there may be an issue with my suspension. Either that or I'm hearing voices in my head. One thing is for sure, we all hate unnatural noises that come from our vehicle. Just when you thought that check engine light or oil filter was fixed for the summer, now you have some other weird noise coming from your tires. In this video, we'll talk about the source of suspension noises and a diagnostic to fix the issue. Diagnosing a suspension noise complaint can't really be completed with any sort of technological diagnostic tools. We have to go way back and use the diagnostic tools of our past, our eyes and our ears. When a potential customer comes in with a suspension noise complaint, make sure to tell them to be detailed with what the noise sounds like and where it came from. If your technicians can replicate the noise, they can fix it. The next step then would be to perform an inspection. Common diagnosis for suspension issues results from issues with the steering column, upper strut mounts, or bushings, among many others. A steering column issue can be an issue if a customer hears a rattle that varies a bit as the wheel is turned. To diagnose this issue, we suggest trying to turn the steering wheel with the engine off. The steering wheel should have zero play. Try moving the wheel in and out and press on the sides. If the issue is coming from the upper struts, the customer may hear various knocking noises that go along with bumps on the road. Knocking or popping noises can also occur when the steering is turned. To diagnose this issue, look for separation between the rubber and metal. After you unload the suspension, move the wheels from lock to lock. This can isolate problems with the upper struts mount bearings. Any roughness or popping can indicate a problem. Lastly, suspension issues may originate from bushings that may just be slightly stiff. The customer may hear a knocking noise that occurs when the suspension moves or the vehicle changes direction. We suggest inspecting the bushings for separation of the metal and rubber and look at the rubber for cracks when diagnosing. I'm Christian Hinton, coming to you from the Tire Review Continental Tire Garage Studio. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at tire underscore review and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tire, service, and shop operations videos. Thanks for watching.